Welcome back to another one of my videos. I'll be doing PE at home for those homeschooled students or students that are in my class in Arizona watching. My name is Ryan Montgomery. Today we're, we're going to be practicing juggling. You're not going to need these, but if you want to learn how to do this, you need to watch this. Oh, oh, oh. not going to need juggling pins. What you're going to need is dish rags. Let me show you. I have three right here. You will probably just need two. Okay? But we are going to be working up to three. All right. First thing, we've got our four exercises. First exercise we're doing is jumping jacks, and we are counting by sevens. Get ready. Hands down feet down, get set, and 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Next exercise is squats, spread your feet, toes pointing out, get ready, get set, and 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Next exercise is push ups. Going all the way down, bend those elbows to the ground. Ready? Get set. And 7, 14, 21, 28. 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, and 70. All right. Next one is sit-ups. Go back down to the ground. Sit-ups. Legs down. Get set. Seven. 14. 21. 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, and 70. During these videos, we're also going to be learning one new exercise a day. We've done this on my first or second video. These are called skaters. Skaters, you're going to be jumping to one side, this leg's coming back like you're bowling, this arm's coming forward, drag skating, back and forth. Ready? Get set, we're counting. Set and seven. 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. Okay, get your rags out. I hope you paused it. If you didn't yet, pause the video, go get them, come back. Okay, I will be using these, but I'm gonna be showing you that you can also do it with something like this. Oh, sorry, Red. We're gonna be practicing with two. All you need is two right now. Get the third one ready so that you're ready when we get there at the very end. Okay, so rags. You gotta learn these before you learn, before you learn. 10 balls. And easy. Once you get good, you can try to do tricks. I'm not a professional. I'm just a PE teacher. Oh, I still caught it. 
Here's another trick for you. Okay. I'm done with these for now. Okay. Get your rags out. I'm going to show you some easy things first. You got two. Okay. First, we're just going to be practicing throwing them up at the same time. Like this. Ready? And catching. Throw them up and catch. Underhanded. Easy. You can walk around as you practice this. Practice. Practice. We are working on coordination of both hands right now. Use your eyes up, down, left, right. the easy part. Okay, next one. Here's another easy one. We're going to throw them one at a time and catch them. You ready, Red? Okay, one at a time. Like that. Practice catching. Notice how these float. These are called juggling scarves. You can find them on Amazon eBay. Juggling. We're still working on coordination so that you can learn how to juggle. Cross and catch. Cross and catch. The pink is over here. It goes to the other side. I'm also crossing one hand over the other. Just like that. I'm right-handed so my right hand goes across. I know when you at home, it looks like the opposite hand. Another cross, because you're gonna have to uncross on for juggling. Cross, another cross. You have to cross, another cross. Oh. Every time, catch it. Cross and uncross. Okay, we're going to do the same thing now. Cross, and we're going to throw it one at a time. Okay, cross, throw it, cross, throw it, and then catch it. Ready? One at a time. And a catch. One, two, and a catch. One, two. There we go. Oh, that was both at a time. No, one at a time right now. One at a time. Keep going, keep trying. If you need a drink, get some water. Okay, next thing, we're gonna practice the juggling order of how you are going to be throwing. You still only need two. You need to get really good at the order if you want to learn how to juggle. The order is, Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Now, for me, my right hand's over here. Okay, so I'm gonna throw right, left, and then I'm gonna catch with my left, and then catch with my right. So throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Like I said, here's the order. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. If you have the rags, these don't float as good as 
juggling stocks, but you can still do it right, left, left, right. It falls a little revenge, juggling balls or tennis balls though. But if that's all you have, that's all you have. Oh, they're a little heavier, they fall faster. Left, left, right. One, two, three, four. Four things. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep practicing. You need to get good at this part. If you need help, remember, you bring your arms up. This one goes first, then this one. But then you're coming, bring this hand comes uncrossed to catch it before the other one does. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, three, four. For you at home, I'm gonna show it backwards so you can follow along, okay? I'm gonna be throwing with this hand so that you can throw with your right hand as you watch the screen, okay? Okay, right, left, left, right. 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 Now, you slow, you don't have to go fast. I know I'm going fast because I know how to do it. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, look how much time you have before you catch it. Probably don't have these. So you might have to move a little faster. But look how nice and slow these slope down. This will help you get better. This will help you learn. Once you get this order, this easy for you, and you'll be ready for three. Okay, so. All right, let me show you three. Three is difficult, even with rags. You kind of need these. If you still don't have, you still can't do one, two, three, four, in that order. One, two, three, four. Can't do that that easy. You should keep practicing that as we as I show you three. Okay, but I know some of you have already got two, so I'm gonna show you three. Here it is. Okay, you take your pinky, hold on to this one, just like that. You take your fingers, two fingers that are free, you grab the other one. Okay, that's the one you throw on first. This one is in your hand, you're just holding it. Okay, so you're throwing the pink one first. One with your pointer finger. On that other one, okay? You ready? Throw, throw, catch, and keep going. Okay, let me show it again. Here's the hard part. Let me show you with two. Okay, okay, so even with two, let me do three again. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna hold this pink one in my hand, but I'm only gonna use two, okay? Ready? Throw, throw, catch. You see that order? It's the same order. Throw, throw, catch, and then you have to throw and catch, throw and catch, throw and catch. Okay? So, the most important part are those three moves. Throw, throw, catch. That's the important part right there. And then you just keep throwing them. You make an X with your hands. Ready? See those fingers and your pinky. Throw them one of the fingers first. Throw, throw, catch, throw it across, throw it across, throw it across, throw it across. Again, keep trying. Cross, up, 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 up. As you get good, you can start moving faster. If you get that fast, you'll need some tennis balls or juggling balls. Okay. Okay, now let me show you something. <clears throat> Say all you have are these. All you have is three tennis balls. It's okay. You can use two, just like the rags. Okay, ready? It's the same moves. One, two, three, four. They just fall faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. It's got to catch much faster though. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. If you're right-handed, you throw with your right hand first. That'll be this side for you. 
Or if you're left-handed, you throw with your left hand first, that would be this side for you. Okay, I'm right-handed. So I would throw with this hand for you. If you have tennis balls, and that was easy, because maybe you're an eighth grader or you learn really fast. Take three, are you ready? It's much, you have to go much faster, your arms have to move faster. You can practice this on your days off that you're not watching me, okay? While you're stuck at home during this period of time. And throw and catch, throw and catch, throw and catch. Let me do it nice and slow for you. One, two, three, four. As you learn this, this took me a whole day to learn how to do juggling and then I wasn't that good. And then you have to keep practicing and get better and better and better. Once you're able to do this for about three months and it's easy, then you start adding some tricks. The trick. Oh. The tricks. The tricks. There's a lot of tricks. Throwing her up in the middle and throwing those at the same time. Going in a circle. That kind of stuff. Once you get good at that. Oh, I can't even do it right now on camera. But once you get really good with the bean bags, then you'll be able to get a pair of this. Your parents let you. Okay. Oh, and then you still won't be that good. these they're much harder you have to throw them at an angle and let them come back down to this hand so your hand has to be ready nice and slow okay so we practice juggling you're gonna keep practicing at home you're gonna keep watching this video you get better and better make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe so that you get all the videos that I put out they're all gonna be more fun and I try to use less equipment, but I still, you still might need some stuff, okay? But it's gonna be fun, keep tuning in, okay? My name is Ryan Montgomery, and we have our five minute challenge. Uh, nothing but exercises to get you sweating. Make sure you're not just sitting on the couch watching these. Make sure you get up and do it. And I forgot my watch, so guess what? We're gonna estimate the five minutes. Okay, you gotta work with what you have. Okay, if you don't have the juggling scarves, you use the rags. If you don't have a watch, you use your brain. Five minutes, that's it. Okay, first exercise. So we know how kicks, starting with kicks. Ready, you ready to do it with me? No, you're not, you're just gonna eat the scarves. Okay, ready, set, kicks are coming across. Like that. Just like that. warm, working our muscles. Walking lunges. Okay. Ready, ready. Walking lunges. Look out, it's not coming. Step. Look at that, right? You can do it. How long can you do it? You're tough and strong. You can get some dumbbells like over here. Hold them and do it. Let me show you right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Some 45s. These are not fun. have some gallons of milk that are empty. Fill with water. Same thing. Nice and tired. Okay.
Okay. Weights away. Whew. Next ones are called the push up twist. I've never done it in my classes, but you're gonna learn it. You're ready. Coming right here. touches. Right here. Whoosh. Come down. Knees stay straight for this one. Get ready. Car wheels are an exercise too. Jump rope in place. Pretend like you have a jump rope. You can do a regular. 
like that. Or a little dance like I was trying to do. Okay, shake it off. Shake it off, last one. Knee tucks. Ten. Ready. Set. This last one. Ten. Ready. around, catch your breath. We're gonna stretch our quadricep right now. Quadriceps for both. Go, knee down, up, hooking up, holding on to something if you need to. Stretching our quadriceps, say it, quadriceps. In the gym, People call them their quads. And switch legs. Other leg. Okay. If you wanted to work out, work these out, guess what you could do? Squats. Keep stretching. Okay, take your, take your fingers. Going down this way. Stretching our forearm muscles, just like that. Just a little bit, just a little bit. This muscle has a hard name. Switch hands. It's like brachialis, brachy. It's not your brachialis. That's the muscle that connects from here to here. Look it up. Google it. Learn the name of your forearm muscle right here. It's not a breaky elbow, but it's close. Breaky something. Your tricep stretch. Triceps are right here. This muscle that's behind your hand, behind your arm. Up, pull it. Pull it this way. Switch other arm, pull it up. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Strip butt, we're going to, instead of just holding that elbow up, we're gonna turn to the side like this. Okay, grab the elbow, I like to grab the wrist. We're gonna stretch our latissimus dorsi. That's this muscle right here on the back. Big muscle. I like to grab the wrist. Right here. And arch this way. Just like that. Stretching our latissimus dorsi. Can you say that? I thought so. Okay, point to it. And bring it back. This side arm up. Bring on the head. You can grab those fingers if you want. Like this. To pull it. This way, stretching, latissimus his dorsi, stretching it. You stand straight up if you want, it's up to you. Stretching it. Practice at home, get better at juggling. Next day when school starts, I want to see a hundred of you learn how to juggle, or show me you know how to juggle. Okay, whoa, oh. Before you learn how to do circles, you're gonna to have to practice throwing them across and catching them at the same time. At the same time, without looking at them. I'm looking at the camera, over to you. Practice with your eyes first, nice and slow. Wider, wider, as you get better, wider. Okay, my name is Ryan Montgomery. I'll be teaching these PE classes three to five times a week. I'm trying for five.
try and do activities where we don't have to use that much equipment but as you can tell you're gonna need something these are gonna be sporting activities my name is Ryan Montgomery hit the like button subscribe to my channel that makes me know that you want to keep seeing these see you next time